Okay, we're recording. All right, bit. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you what you need, what you're gonna do, and everything. So, first things first, you're gonna start with a Holly Two Barrel. They look like this basically. This one's all part. See that horn? That's obviously got to go. This is an older style, so you don't take as much material off. But with one of these, you cut it about here. I just used a chop saw and just went all the way across and did some finish work. Uh, easier way might be just a saw saw or something. So you just cut that off and then it'll fit. One thing, do not use the center hung foot balls, which look like this. They will not fit. You want to use the older style square bowl, or as they call them, side hung floats, which are like these. <clears throat> They'll all fit. So, there's that figured out. We'll walk out here to the satellite. You just sent me a message. Alright, so. As you can see in the pictures, they've got the center hung float bowls. And I believe this is 3 8 fuel line. It's all copper. Dad bent it all. But this came last. This is what we did last. We took a halt or an Edelbrock dual quad setup linkage and it runs from this carburetor to this one because this is the one you run on your center and we attach it here we got our hands I hope that recognizes it's turned but uh when this carburetor activates it pulls back to that point and then these two carbs are tied together and then they activate like so and then you oh man it smells like fuel and then when you go to do this you just bend these out far enough that they do not bind anywhere there's about a finger's distance between everything so it'll be fine <clears throat> this damn linkage here is about 50 bucks but it's well worth it because you do not want all three carburetors coming on all at once this gives you good gas mileage because you can drive around on this carburetor. And then when you want to haul ass, you hit all all three and you're doing like 80 mile an hour before you realize it. Um, it's tied in right here. Here's the stock bracket. It comes up and ties right to the back of the center carburetor. This is a 4412 Holly. It's a 500 CFM. And these two are older ones, and they're 350s. <clears throat> this is an exact opposite of what a real six pack is because it's a 350 and two fives. But with a 500 center, what you're driving on, it works perfectly. A crucial part of this getting to work is making sure all your accelerator pumps, which are these levers here, there, and here, working properly. They need to all be spot on, and that's where your fine tuning comes in. As far as all your uh, idle mixture screws go, you want about two turns, one and a half turn, depending on where you're at. <clears throat> and I got caught on my car. Now, as you can see, it's all mechanical. There's no vacuum pods or anything. I had a vacuum port on the bottom of this carburetor. So I plugged them. All the vacuum ports are plugged on this setup because my distributor is mechanical, my Mallory. So, and I don't have any fuel boiling issues, none of that stuff. And uh, making sure you ain't got no leaks is kind of a bitch because to remove the center carburetor, you got to remove either the back, well, you got to remove the front one. <clears throat> and you can kind of wedge this one out. But it's really a simple deal. And tuning is way easier than I ever thought it would be. Um, it's a lot easier just to explain in a video than it is to try and type it out. I'm just going to do a couple of passes with the camera. Maybe you get a better feel for how this setup works. It looks pretty busy, but it's all hidden underneath the air cleaner, which is a standard reproduction six-pack air cleaner you can buy for 
60 bucks, 40 bucks on eBay. I bought the K&N air filter from uh, second hand off a dude, for like 40 bucks. You can save a lot of money and you can just clean it. I made my own base. Let me just stand right here. This is a piece of sheet metal that I made a cardboard template out of. And then I just welded some tabs to uh, hold the air cleaner and then I have another version I made where this goes all the way around I just haven't finished it yet and that holds it on the outside <clears throat> this is real easy to make these holes here are for your uh, oh shit your uh, oh I forgot what they're called it's too early and this weather's throwing me off it's <coughs> beautiful and it's almost December <clears throat> for them thingies I done forgot what they're called it, I apologize oh, I'm going to kick myself in the ass for that but it fits on there perfectly no problems but that's how it works man uh, super simple it works great you can run a gigantic cam and not have to worry about any kind of engine vacuum and see I've got power brakes and I ain't got any vacuum problems so far but uh, that's it. If you have any more questions, let me know.